Simario was founded by a gentleman named Victor Sima, which is where the name Simario comes from. Victor, like so many audio engineers, had a vision of how to build a better product offering better musicality and better value for your money for customers. In 1993, Victor sold the company to a then employee named Jean Poulain. And Jean had a desire to buy it and grow it and expand it, which he did for the next 20 years. In 2013, Jean Poulain decided to retire from the audio industry and sold the company to two longtime employees, Thierry Dufour and myself, and newcomer Louis Lemire. We have a manufacturing here in Montreal, and the goal of that manufacturer is to be able to build the best product that we are able to make and to give an experience to the customer. The fun fact to be in Montreal is the fact that there is a lot of music. Music is part of our culture. Over the last 38 years, we have accumulated a significant knowledge base in electronics design from amplifiers to DACs to CD players and anything that essentially relates to audio. When we set out to design the 888, we went to our engineers and said to them, we want you to take everything that you know about amplifier design and just go crazy, no more cost constraints. Build the best that you can build at any cost. And what they came out with was the 888 that we see today. What we did is we reviewed everything we'd done in the past and go back to blank page and say, what can be improved on the circuit we have? One of the main goals was to achieve 800 watts and beyond. The challenge around that kind of power is to have thermal design that can sustain it. We needed to go in a path that is rarely used, so we decided to cast the whole heat sink in one piece. And this cast design allow us to have all the thermal dissipation we need for that kind of amp. Another key aspect of the design is to have tremendous amount of reserve to achieve that kind of power sustained, we needed to use 12 capacitors. Now, one of those capacitors could supply a whole integrated amplifier. In order to feed those capacitors, we needed the transformers to go behind it. So those transformers are custom made and epoxy filled, so any vibration coming from the transformer will not be transmitted to any part of the circuit. Another key aspect was to achieve very low noise and very high output power. We decided to review all the input stage of the amplifiers. We've done a lot of modification at that part. To achieve very high output power, we needed devices that could sustain it. So we had custom made transistors to make that kind of power possible. The manufacturing capability at Simotio rely on different departments. We have the mechanical departments, where we have CNC machine. It is in that department that we are able to build the product. We have an SMT line, that means an electronic department, where we are able to build the PCB with the components. We have a quality control section where we are able to test and validate the product by itself. The advantage of building everything as ours is the fact that we are able to control everything that goes into that product. So when you look how it's made, we can see the output board mounted directly on the heatsink. This will ensure that thermal transfer is perfect. Those heat sinks are brought together with a cross member. This cross member assures that the, all the amp, the structure of the amp, is very solid. Now there's double cross member. There's one in the middle and one in the front, which holds all the transformers together. So this part of the assembly makes it an inert structure. So the power supply is mounted on a very thick aluminum plate, and it's all brought up together to make a massive structure. So the benefit of the structure is not only solidity, but also to separate the AC side from the DC side. Make sure there's no noise from the AC side that goes through the amplifier. When you take off the top plate, you see a subplate. This subplate isolates furthermore the circuit from the external world. We spend time, you know, refining the circuit, refining the design. In the end, I was so surprised by the reaction of the people listening to the amplifier. I have to admit that when I first heard them, I was floored at what I was hearing. It was like rediscovering my music for the first time all over again. That was kind of the, the answer I was, I was hoping to have, say, we made it.